Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and welcome to another Garage Band Quick Jam, where in just two minutes, or sometimes a little longer, I give you all the information you need to know to get started with a feature here in Garage Band on iOS. And in this video, we'll be looking at smart drums. Let's go. Okay, to access our smart drums, under drums, we tap on smart drums. And here you see the smart drums grid and you can see that at the top here we have loud, at the bottom quiet, on the left we have simple and on the right complex. And the way we use this grid is to tap and drag a drum item and place it somewhere on this grid. We can also preview a drum kit piece by just tapping on the piece over here on the right. To change our drum kit sound we tap in the arrow at the top here and tap on the drums and now we can choose from any of these six drum kits and each kit will have its own selection of different drum sample sounds. So let's drag some items now and create a simple drum beat here in Smart Drums. Our blue power button in the top left there will turn the loop on and off. And we can reset back to our default by tapping on the reset button. To create a random drum pattern we tap on the dice and GarageBand will place items randomly to create a drum beat. To record our pattern, we simply tap on record. And we can move our drum kit pieces while recording to change the sound as we go. And when we play back, we see the changes that we've made edit these drums we can't actually use the MIDI note editor like we do with regular drums so what you need to do is actually change the pattern here and then re-record over your original recording. So there you have it a quick and easy way to get up and running with some drums in your GarageBand projects and if you have any comments questions or suggestions leave them down below and I'll see you next time. <laughs>